so much for being here this morning. We have important and productive work to do. The microphone's not on? Someone said it wasn't on. I can always seem to hear myself perfectly well. Hi. Sit down. Come and join us. We have children. Saludos! Saludos! Let me say the following. There is only one champion that we have in the U.S. Senate that has had the tenacity and the consistency to defend us at every turn, at every moment, every day, every step along the way. And think about it. No longer will we have to think about un bosquejo. Mm -hmm. Highlights of what a Senate version might look like. Mm -hmm. A rough draft of what a Senate version might look like. Thinking about what a Senate version might think look like, right? Speculation about what a Senate version might look like. No, because of Senator Bob Menendez, we're going to move forward and have a Senate version for comprehensive immigration. <laughs> We have 102 in the House of Representatives. I want to thank you all for having helped put that wonderful coalition together. It will be a different version than the House version. It will be a Senate version, but together. And so, Nidia Velasquez, ¿qué te puedo decir de esa flaquita, ah? ¿Qué te puedo decir de esa boricua? De esa presidenta del Caucus Congresional Hispano. Ah, lo único que tú puedes hablar es de su tenacidad. Lo único que tú puedes hablar es de su verticalidad. Y yo me alegro tanto que ella es presidenta del caucus y ha podido reunir el caucus y defenderlo. And so, when Bob and Nidia and I were speaking to personnel at the White House, we said, we need the president to embrace. Amen. We need the president to stand up. Yes. We need the president to speak loudly and clearly and decisively that when Bob Menendez introduces that bill, he is strongly behind and supporting that bill. Yeah. Tomorrow at 2.30 when we meet with our friend, our president, our leader, we will also ask him to use all his power, to use all his influence, to use all his might, and to use that bully pulpit of the White House of the Presidency to make sure that the DREAM Act has a successful vote next week in the Senate. We talked to Harry Reid, and he's moving forward. Tomorrow we'll talk to President Obama and make sure that Harry Reid has everything he needs in order to be successful next week when the vote on the DREAM Act comes up. Thirdly, think about it a moment. Get a moment. The inherent authority of the police, this is a doctrine under the George Bush administration, that the police have an inherent authority to act as immigration agents. Bob Menendez just told you about 200 cases that he knows of. We all know of them. People getting picked up every day, citizens of the United States, permanent residents, legal here, being asked for information, being asked about their immigration status. We will tomorrow ask the president to call upon the Justice Department to once and for all revoke the Justice Department doctrine under the Bush administration. There is no inherent authority. Only the federal government should enforce. And And the fourth cornerstone of this initiative. Look at these children that are here. There are four million. American citizen children. And the primary purpose of the federal government each and every day in regards to those more four million American citizen children is what? No, I wish that was their priority. That's what protecting should be their priority. You know what our government is doing? 
They're picking up and deporting their parents. They're picking up and separating and destroying these families. And so tomorrow we will ask the president, when Nidia, Bob and I meet with him at 2.30, we will talk to our friend, to our leader, to someone who we love and respect very much, and are looking forward to a moment in which we can all march together. Olvidémonos del pasado. Pensemos en el futuro y estos niños, y cómo es que le podemos garantizar justicia a estos niños. say to the President of the United States, listen, we understand your mission to keep our community safe and that there are people that come here not as immigrants but as foreigners and they come to do harm. We want them out of our communities also. But please have a policy in which if someone is caught up in a raid and they have committed no criminal offense and they have American citizen children and American citizen wife, and they have ties and bonds to this community, and they are not criminals, then allow them to stay until the Congress of the United States acts on comprehensive immigration. Use the power of the President to stop And so as you see, we are still working in the Senate for comprehensive immigration reform. We will talk to the president to stop the deportations and to end this policy that says that police everywhere can just enforce immigration law violating our fundamental civil and human rights. And we will ask the president tomorrow to make sure that we don't let anyone down next week, that we do what we have to do. I want to say that eventually we're going to get there. And tomorrow is the beginning of a new road. Let's have a victory next week with the DREAM Act. Let's take a million of our youngest and our brightest and set them on a path to freedom and to integration and to becoming the most beautiful, greatest American citizens possible. Let's begin that fight next week. <laughs> That after Reed and the Senators are done, when the bill comes to the House, we will be there ready with 218 votes to affirm the DREAM Act in the House of Representatives. Let the Senate begin and the House end the work on the DREAM Act in the coming weeks. We can do this. We can focus. We can achieve these goals. There are big and broader strokes. There are smaller ones, but all together, they bring about a sense of justice. But let us also remember that we need to have more than Senator Reid. We need to have more than Senator Menendez. We need the people to take off their political parties of Republicans and Democrats, of Tea Party and other parties of conservatives and moderates. We need people to put aside political parties and political stripes and their political costume many times that they put on here in Washington, D.C., and to put on a robe of justice, of freedom, of dignity for the Dream Act kids next week and put partisan political politics aside. We need next week not simply 52 or 53 or 55 Democrats. We need Republicans to stand up and say yes to the Dream Act next week and allow a vote on final passage. Por eso iniciamos con el Dream Act, pero no descansamos hasta que obtengamos los 12 millones todos con nosotros. Hasta la victoria siempre venceremos si se puede. ¡Sí!